So today I'm going to be painting on some shells. Yay! So let's get started. First things first, we have to wash it. So be back when I wash it. Okay, so now I'm back and I'm just sanding down the shell so the paint will stick. Now I'm painting the bottom of the shell. And I'm actually doing, so I'm doing an ET shell. So the top green, or so the top like gray part is the space, is gonna be the spaceship. And then the green is like, that's me waiting for it to dry, by the way. Um, the, the green is like the laser shooting down and like taking earth things. This is me struggling to paint the windows on it and I messed up right there. It went all the way to the top. So I had to smear it off. And now um, this is me just, you know, touching up the areas, the surfaces. And yeah. So just enjoy me doing this so I don't have to talk. Surprise, surprise, I'm back. <coughs> so now, right, what I'm going to be doing, so I'm just getting some paint right now, I'm pretty sure. So we have green stuff, the little I don't stairs really. going up, and then. Oh, I'm just talking, so you can just ignore the fact All right. that I'm doing that. But anyways, I'm going to be drawing a little human in the laser beam because it's taking people something i don't know but this the theme of this is supposed to be um like from the movie et if you haven't seen it it's kind of sad i cried when i watched it but yeah um i don't know i didn't want to do the whole thing the ship because that would just be weird so i just did the laser beam shooting down and <laughs> taking people maybe that's like oh what if i did that like that's just the like it's flying up i don't know but i'm gonna stick with the laser beam because that's cool i guess so this little human thing was taking literally forever. This is me struggling and being impatient. Oh my God, mommy. And yeah, so I'm just drawing this little stick figure. We'll just call him Jimmy for now. Also that white spot is um, kind of disturbing me, but I ended up leaving it there. So, that's that. I didn't even notice it. So, um, yeah. Now I'm just writing ET on the shell with a paintbrush. And now I'm co covering it in Mod Podge to help the paint stick to the seashell. And here's the final result. I hope you like it, but I'm doing, I'm gonna do one more after this. This video took um, two days and two nights to finish, and it's pretty short, but yeah. So here's the final product. I really like it, a lot. So now I'm gonna be painting on this seashell, and so here I am sending it, blah, blah, blah. After this, I'm gonna rinse it off because there was like sand stuff on it. I don't know, it was just kind of dirty, but um, I'm doing, I'm gonna be doing some cherries. Let's just pat it for good luck and start painting. So for the background of this one, I'm going to be doing pink and there's gonna be cute little cherries on it. And um, <clears throat> yeah. So just enjoy the view.
right, so now um, I'm doing the little cherry stems. And um, I'm actually getting ready. I might go to bed soon, so it might take a little longer to make this, but whatever, it just doesn't matter. Um, now I'm doing the cherries. I kind of smeared one of the cherries, so I had to end up painting over that, as you can probably see. Um, then I, this is just me covering that up, and then I came back and redid the cherry. So, just gotta put the cherry on. Then after that dries overnight, well it didn't have to take overnight, but I just went to bed. So I put some Mod Podge on and here's the final results. I think it's really cute. I kind of messed up right there and on the thing on the bottom and the black spots but other than that i think it turned out really good and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah so here's the other one just to show you them next to each other and i dropped it and it kind of made a loud sound but yeah here they are hope you guys have a great day. Bye.